Can you give us a sign if you are present? And all of a sudden I felt what felt like wind go by me. Who, you know, who else is in this building and you remember their name? And she starts spitting out names of people that were like up in the balcony. We think this would have been their uh, their pottery room because back here there's actually still some things left over from the uh, when this was a school. So those have been set in there for. So is this stuff that people uh, actually made? Last time, the last time the school met here was 1969. Wow. So those have been set in back here for 50 something years. Sponsored by Ocean Spray. <laughs> Oh, it is big. I wasn't sure, like I saw the pictures and I was like, man, is that really how big it is? We have 70,000 square feet. Yep. actually did a seance here. What? what? So yeah, from the stage here, um, we've gotten a lot of stuff over here in this corner, but never anything like definitive, but we've heard footsteps in this corner. Um, that door over there used to shut by itself so often that I, I put that there because it was actually getting annoying after a while. So this bathroom here would have been, um, this would have been where Dr. Martin Luther King got ready for his speech. Eleanor Roosevelt would have been in this room. I've got it. So yeah, it's kind of start yeah. talking about it. Yeah. yeah, so you're starting to feel it? Yeah, yeah, I saw you react at the same time because yeah. I felt something <laughs> across here. We bring Jessica, when we do our tours, we do flowers for her. Good area for the rim pod. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes if you set it out in the hallway too, Jessica's very shy because she's a 17 year old girl. So sometimes she doesn't like, you know, especially if she's getting used to you. Um, so, but what, what she'll do is she'll be out here in the hallway and you can pick up like REM pod out here. And then if you're like sitting in that chair, like your K2 meter will go off or, or something will like, you'll feel something. What she's doing is she comes in the room and then she like checks you out and then she like, just kind of, I'm gonna check you out. Okay, you got everybody's cool. So she's in it, like in and out a lot. I just felt some. Was there a spider web in here? Huh. Those are, that's not the same order those pictures were last week, by the way. I just got touched too. Uh, that's felt like a spider web. Somebody has rearranged these pictures. That's, my hair is standing up a little bit. Yeah. Look at that. 
That's crazy. That's, that's not the picture that was yeah, there. Some of my hair is just standing up. Like I felt like I got, as soon as I said that, I thought I knew who the girl was. I got touched on the arm. <laughs> we can find some skeletons down here once. Oh, yeah. We missed the leg, though. Let me go to the leg. That's why it's haunted. <laughs> Probably. So this is where we've been getting a lot of activity. This was actually, the theater was built on um, the, the foundation of the old Eagle Ironworks. And the Eagle Ironworks used to make munitions for the Union Army um, during the Civil War. Oh wow. So yeah, the old Eagle Ironworks made munitions for the Union Army and the Confederates used to come and set fire to the factory. Oh, um, and so on several occasions there were massive fires inside the Eagle Ironworks. I don't know if, how many people were killed during these attacks, but um, I would imagine that people were yeah, killed. Somebody would have had to. So yeah, when we were doing Spirit Box down here, we kept on getting fire. So the two spirits that are down here, one of them we think is like a like a younger gentleman in his 20s, maybe early 30s. He's tall, he's big, because I felt him breathing on the back of my neck one night. Oh, wow. Um, and then the second one is a little bit older than him, shorter but more responsible. We think it's almost like a um, like a mice and men type thing. Where oh, yeah. yeah like oh. One's kind of looking out, yeah, yeah. One's looking out for the other. Um, because we actually got an EVP of, or a spirit box saying uh, brother-in-laws. Yeah, so again, we're all standing kind of like in a semicircle here. You said your name started with an H. Can you tell me what your name is by talking into this device in my hand? I mean, if, if somebody was moving, you all would know, because that oh, sounded yeah. straight up like somebody, it was even like almost yeah. running. I mean, if, if you think about it, so we were standing in a half circle here. If somebody was moving, they would have been, you know, like this. Yeah. And But that wouldn't have made any sense. Right, because like, I mean, even it sounds like it's, I'm so just kind of like, was, like my thought was this is kind of how they sound. It's like they're actually leaving the room. We've caught mist on this before. Um, we get a lot of a lot of stuff going on in here in general. But this was the old motor for the uh, freight elevator. Oh, very cool. Yeah. This is actually one of the original seats from the theater. Oh, wow. um, this would have been in um, like the box seats. That would have been one of the box seat chairs. Uh, Mary Emery, the person who donated the money, she wanted to make sure that it was accessible. Um, mm -hmm. So she made sure that there was inexpensive tickets, but she also made sure that you know they wanted to cut the time. They didn't <laughs> meet co mingle with the people that were down here. Mm -hmm. So you can see, I mean, even with yeah. Bouncing this, wiggling it, I mean. And, and what happened with it? So, it went like this. Actually, it, it was and more like, was over there so it was on here and it more or less went up like that. And nobody was like around Oh there. no, we were all in the hallway. 
Like you can almost imagine it, like like chaise lounges in here, and the ladies with their big dresses and stuff. Um, Joe is the spirit that hangs out on this level, or actually, he hangs out pretty much on this side of the building. He was either an usher, security. He did something with the theater. He doesn't like mischief. He doesn't like loud talking. He doesn't like anybody running. Perfect. Um, so yeah. he's kind of that law and order type guy. This is the chairs um, that I saw move by themselves one night. Like the seats moving? Yeah. So I think so, it was this one. Was it the back? Literally went like that. The, the background of the seating was that this was the only, the first theater with unob unobstructed view from yeah. every seat. No, um, no. Well, unobstructed view everywhere. It was the first one built. Oh, wow. So all these here, well, this was cool. all steel beam. So you see like it's structurally sound, like that's not even sagging. one night and he was he went into this bathroom and was uh aggressively touched um, and that it aggressively touched in that yeah, bathroom so, like somebody grabbed his shoulders and yeah. he said that he was psychically sensitive and he was from chicago and it was halloween and he went in there and he came out like i just got touched like he was freaking out but i think it was because he went in there he wasn't supposed to be in there and i think joe the spirit joe who can now we know can move things and throw things and do all sorts of stuff. He can also touch people. I think that he was trying to get him out of that bathroom. It is also because this bathroom would have been for the workers. And if he wasn't a worker here, he has no business being in there. So the last couple of times, Laura, that we've been down here, um, we've had people get hugged from behind. Look, look, as soon as you were talking about it, it started going off. Look, I got that on camera. So the last couple of times, Laura, that we've been down here, um, we've had people get hugged from behind. Look, look, as soon as you were talking about it, it started going off. Look, I got that on camera. Got that on camera. Is anybody here? Oh man, I'm feeling like something right around me. Who are we talking to? Is this the, the person that we've met down here before? Can you make that green light go all the way up to red for me again? What was that? One of these pipes behind me. Can you make that knocking sound again? Was that you? Was that just the pipe or was that you knocking? I want to hear you knock again. So we have something noisy for you. If you'd rather touch that instead of the lights, just have to go up to that little antenna that's sticking up by the red light. So we have something noisy for you. If you'd rather touch that instead of the lights, just have to go up to that little antenna that's sticking up by the red light. We appreciate that you're letting us come and hang out here with you. That's me. Oh. Is there anybody here? We've just come to visit and uh, make contact. Can you give us a sign if you are present?
you feel cold air. I've got some right here. Uh, should I feel any down here? Nah, not really. I just have like a cold wind here right by me. Like it felt like a gust. Yeah. And there's no way wind can get down here at all. Yeah. And that was like right on both of them. Right? I saw that earlier over there. A cool, a cool spot. And I, like I said, I don't get cool very often. I'm, I'm yeah. hot most of the time. Those are definitely yeah. solid walls. That was right when I felt it. Did you hear that? Yes. Do you want to hear them talking? It's like right after they're talking in the background. It's like somebody. That's the person blowing on the back of the That's the same person blowing on the back of my neck. I've got, I've got goosebumps. Goosebumps. I don't know if you can see that, but I got goosebumps. All right, so basically what just happened was. I was standing over here, I was doing an EVP recording, and all of a sudden I felt what felt like wind go by me. And I asked them if they felt it. There's nothing down here. I mean, you can see there's nothing that's gonna cause a draft. But it was straight up like, the coolest wind just went by me. And right before it happened, this is what we caught. It's like somebody was breathing on me, and then you hear me say that right after that. Oh man, it's not that bad. Yeah, that one's not too bad. Do you find that they respond better when they're holding it or when it's on the ground? Oh, we've only done the one with the headphones, so that's why I was excited about that one. Oh, the SDs. Is that you that came up and breathed in the recorder? Anybody in here that wants to put on a show for us? Got a whole stage all to yourself. You got a piano that you can use. You know it's been a while. We'd like to see a show. All right, so we were sitting in the seats in the auditorium in the theater, and we were trying to get somebody to put on a show for us. So you're going to hear me ask a question that says, can you put on a show for us? We want to see a play. And then you're going to hear a response right after I say that. And so we're going to play that. Let me ask the question. And then you're going to hear that come on. Is there anybody in here that wants to put on a show for us? Right, right after I say, so everybody wants to put on a show for us. We know that there's a young girl named Jessica that supposedly is around here too. So, um, Troy, one of the guys who's one of the tour guides here, it's all creepy. But yeah, uh, Troy, one of the tour guides here, he actually said that the tone of that voice actually sounded like Jessica. Jessica, are you backstage? No. <laughs> oh, if you're up there, can you turn it off? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I hear voices in that dripping. You, I mean, you absolutely could. I Whoa. I heard that. I heard that too. That was from the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> no, so like I wasn't gonna come because I'm really tired and I have this fear of being a brick wall and like shutting things down, right? So I was like, I'm not gonna go and add my like tiredness to the mix and, and shut things down if things are going well. So I wasn't gonna come. And the exit that I always take, and I don't know my way around like Price Hill where the theater is, the exit I was gonna take was completely blocked off and I couldn't take it, so 
I just go straight and I turn on my GPS and it tells me, like I go up to the next row and it says turn right onto Central Parkway and I was just like, you're freaking <laughs> kidding me. So it's Central Parkway and then I just followed it around and I was just like, at this point, there's Kroger. I have to go. <laughs> So the universe told me Thank to Thank you, universe. Yeah. The spirits were drawing you here. Sponsored by... <gasps> Pepsi. Try the spirit box if you want to. <coughs> That's what I was thinking. <coughs> so you said this place was called Iron Eagle? I think so. The title of a movie. 80s movie? I wanted to say Iron Eagle, but I was like, am I talking about a movie? I don't know. <gasps> You're broken. I do feel like there's possibility that something's messing with some of our stuff because I've had a couple batteries die a little bit quicker than I thought they would. And this light wouldn't come on? Yeah. Alright, are you down here with us again? No. Uh -huh. It said no. I was thinking that too. Alright, if you're not Mike, then who are you? Can you tell us your name? Is that you that touched me? It's like, yeah. That's not. Do you go around and touch all kinds of random strangers? I just turned it down and somebody said something. Really? Yes. That's how they do. Are you doing that on purpose? Is that funny? Yeah. So somebody just said yeah. Can someone tell me how many of you there are down here? I hope someone's not like saying nine. <laughs> That's what I heard too. Are there nine of you down here? Can you say yes if nine was what you were trying to say? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Is there somebody here that's lost? Do you need help finding someone?
see if the camera can see them. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But I am like all of a sudden freezing. I feel like something's biting. I did. And I'm like, I'm burning up, so. I'm not feeling what I was before when we first got down here. I felt like just like energy and like wind all around me. I'm not feeling it right now. Maybe it's more around you. Excuse me. That didn't sound like something good. What? It sounded like you said Satan. Is that who was around me? Do you know who was around me earlier when I kept feeling that? Can you tell me who that was? Do you remember? Can you play? You want to put on a play? Was that you, Jessica? You want us to go up onto the stage and watch you put on a show? You would laugh at us, probably. And more? And more? I thought it said it's more. <laughs> more? Could be. Was your name more? Vivian. Vivian? Hi, Vivian. Thank you. Is it you that's been coming through for us? Are you an actress? Did you put on shows at the theater? Maybe. Unfortunately, we won't hear everything right now that you're saying, but we will hear it later. And I'm sure we'll be back again. Record. Record? Did you say record? That's what we're doing. I have a camera over there that's recording what we're doing. So we can watch that and hear what you're saying through this. Something. Something? Well, tell us to leave again and we will leave. Get. That sound like to get, get out. out. <laughs> okay. We'll right, leave. If you want to, we'll, we'll go back upstairs. That. Everybody, it's Beth and Nick, and we are at the Emory Theater, Emory Theater in downtown Cincinnati. So they just started doing paranormal um, investigations. You could do private events, you could do a tour, um, or you can come for a public event. It's a really cool place, and it's really huge. I mean, it's, it's way bigger than we thought. Yeah, way bigger. Yeah. This place is so scary. You need to come investigate. And it's definitely a hidden gem right now, so get into it before it blows up. That's all I'm saying. So if you want to book a night, then you can go to AmericanLegacyTours.com. And I believe that you could do your publics or your privates on there. So Publics or privates. I was like, that sounds kind of bad. Don't send them your privates, though. No, please don't. don't we send, didn't tell you to do that. Don't send them your privates. <laughs> but do come to the Emory and investigate. Yes, do. <laughs> Come here and investigate because it is awesome. Seriously, you guys are going to enjoy it. Peace.